the, the Civil Craig D channel. Uh, today we're going to go over the new pressure network added design elements for Civil 3D 2021. Um, the most of the stuff's the same as far as the creation. Uh, you go through the same way, pick that, give it a name, we'll say pressure. Test. Uh, the new thing is they call it a pipe run name, so we'll call that. Uh, we'll give it. We'll make it sanitary. We'll give it a bigger size here. We'll go. We're going to refer to the proposed grade surface. We're going to set the cover to five feet, and that's all we need to mess with in this window. So we're going to say OK. It's going to pull up. So now you're ready to place. Normally you'd be placing pipe here, but this one you're starting your alignment. So from here you lay out your pipe, and essentially you're laying out your pipe. You're creating it. It pulls up this compass that tells you pick which angle you want to put in, 45, 22 and a half, 11 and a quarter, and, and so on. And you just kind of work your way down the line. And when you're done placing the pipe where you need it to go, you, you just hit enter, and it populates the pipe. Structures. What it doesn't show is that it created an alignment there. That alignment falls underneath miscellaneous alignments, so this is kind of a new thing. I like to move that alignment up into center line through the properties. That way it falls where your other ones are. Um, if you would like to add stationing to that alignment, you would click there, select, and then right click again, and there's edit alignment labels. Pull down and just add in the labels you want to see. Say OK. Now, you, now it's stationed and you see it like you normally do. Um, from there we would, we would want to see it in profile view. So we create a profile like we normally do. Trunk line is selected. The surface is already in there, the proposed grade surface that it pulled the element or the uh, elevation from. Trunk line is the run of pipe at the five foot lower than proposed grade surface. So it's already in there. You say draw and profile view. It's going to pull up the create profile view window wizard that you're no, you're used to seeing. Nothing different there. Pick your station ending. Pick your profile view height. Doesn't have to change. It should be fine. And this one is asking, do you want to see the pressure network in there? For this one, I will. After future runs, if you do runs tied into this trunk line, you will not want to select them. You'll want to add them in manually. And if you if you know the name or the if you have named the pipes or the structures, you can pick them here individually and add them into another profile. For this one, we want all of these. So I say create profile view. Bring it over here. Click. And so now you have your proposed grade and then five foot lower you have your pipe run. This is really nice uh, easy process so now the thing that 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 oh I guess I'll show you where the pipe runs live so if you if you hit the plus sign on your pressure network test uh, pressure network pipe runs is here and you'll have you will have multiple pipe runs as you run more pipe this one shows you what surface it's referring to and the depth. If you click on it in profile view, it comes up in your standard uh, profile pressure network profile layout. And the, the new button here is pipe run profile. If you click that, pulls up your information on that pipe run. And this is where you control the depth. So if if you want to globally change the depth of that entire run by two feet and make it seven feet deeper, or two feet, make it seven foot total, it moves that all of the parts in that pipe run down two feet. That is a very good addition to the editing of pressure networks. Those of you that have worked with it in the past know the agony of moving a lot of parts up and down individually. So if you need to move, if somebody is changing their mind how deep they want the, the pipe ran, you can very quickly move it up or down at the whim of the project manager. 
So, for those of you that have done it in the past, this should be a very welcomed change into the design process of creating a pressure network profile and pipe run in Civil 3D 2021.